All right, guys, here again. This is week two, the math part. This is option number two. It says to solve the following equations. There are three different equations for you to solve. Here is the first one. Let's go ahead and walk through this step by step. So what we need to do first is draw our line at our equal sign. Um, this looks similar to what you have in your first equation, but it's a little bit different. So walk through this example with me and then see if you are able to do it on your own. The first thing you should notice is that on this left side here, we have multiple whole numbers without any x's. Since they are all on the same side, we can go ahead and combine all three of these. When I have 3 plus 10 is 13, plus 2 is 15. So I really have 15 minus 2x equals 4x plus 39. Oops, that's an x there. All right, it already looks much smaller, much easier to work with. The next thing I notice is that I have x's on this side and x's on this side. I do not want that. I only want x's on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out this 4x here on this side. If it's a positive 4x, the way I cancel it out would be to subtract 4x's. And whatever I do on this side, I have to do on the other side as well. So I will subtract 4x on this side as well. That cancels out. And all I have is 39 equals, and on this side I have to do some math, negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6x, and I have 15. We're at a two-step problem now. To get rid of a positive 15, I will subtract 15 from both sides to cancel out my 15, so I have negative 6x equals 39 minus 15 is 24. The last thing I have to do is to get rid of this negative 6 that is attached to my x. When you want to get rid of something that is attached to the x, you always have to divide by that number. We will divide by negative 6 to cancel it out. So x equals 24 divided by negative 6 negative 4. There's our answer for our first one. You can follow this example to help you with your first equation. I'm going to give you another equation to try to help you with your second one. Alright, so here is a second equation. Hopefully to help you out, I'm going to draw my line again at the equal sign, and we're going to see what we have. The first thing we should notice is that I have an x over here, an x over here, and an x over here. I have three different x's. Two of them are on the same side. One of them is on a different side. I have to know that whenever I have two x's on the same side, I can combine them. Just like in the first example, we combined all three whole numbers together. I could combine these x's that are on the same side. So if I have a 10 and a negative 4, that gives me positive 6x plus 37 equals 13x minus 5. I combined those on that side. I still have x's over here and x's over here. How can I get rid of the x's on the right side? If it's positive 6x, to get rid of them, I would need to subtract 6x. And I have to do that on both sides in order to cancel it out, and all I have left is 37 equals, do some math over here, 13x minus 6x is 7x minus 5, and now we're at a two-step problem. I have to add 5 to cancel it out. So 7x equals 37 plus 5 is 42. And my last step to get this x by itself is I have to divide by that number that is attached. So I will be dividing by 7. So let's see what that is. x equals 42 divided by 7 is 6. 
There we go. My answer is x equals 6. Use this to help you with the second equation. And option number two, remember, if you see parentheses, you have to distribute and multiply first. I'm going to give you one more example. Hopefully, it'll help you. All right, here is our third and last example for option two here. We are solving this equation also. I'm going to draw my line straight down at the equal sign. And I notice there are two sets of parentheses here. So I will need to distribute the number that's right in front of the parentheses. Here it's a negative 7 times x. So negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7 equals, and I have to distribute over here also, negative 5 times x, and distribute again, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. I've distributed and got rid of all of my parentheses. The next thing I should notice is that there is an x on this side and on this side. I do not want x's on both sides. Since they're on both sides, I cannot just combine these. I have to cancel out the x's on one of the sides. If I look over here on the right, it's a negative 5x. In order to cancel out a negative 5x, I will add 5x to both sides. I'm adding the x's to the x's on this side. I will not add them to the whole numbers. So I have 25 equals negative 7 plus 5 puts me at negative 2. Now I'm at a two-step problem. I need to cancel out this plus 7. So I will do the opposite, the inverse, and I will subtract 7 on both sides to cancel it out, leaving me with negative 2x equals, and i got to do some math over here, 25 minus 7 equals 18. My last step to get x by itself is to divide by the number that is attached to the x. So I will be dividing by a negative 2. Make sure you divide by a negative. That is the number that is there. So my x will equal 18 divided by negative 2, which is negative 9. You can use this example to help you solve all of your problems. Remember, you can pause it, you can rewind it, and watch this video as many times as you need to help you with option number two, solving these equations.